All right, so Daniel Radcliffe is done with Harry Potter, and now he's in a new role where he's in a haunted ass house, and he's got no Patronuses to help him this time. Last Potter joke, swear. The Woman in Black. All right, so in Woman in Black, Daniel Radcliffe is this young lawyer, and he's like, I'm gonna do what young lawyers do. I'm gonna go to this town and stay in this crickety-ass house. This house, you take one look at it, and you're like, that's a seedy, that thing is haunted. The entire cast of Ghost Hunters, Ghostbusters, and Ghost Adventures could not put that place back in order. It's pretty bad. And in this house he's staying in is The Woman in Black. All right, so for the first part of The Woman in Black, I was like, Eh, man. I mean, it seemed kind of slow. The movie's building up, but I was like, come on, let's let's get something happening. And then it relied heavily on jump scares. I mean, crows flying in front of the screen, a cat or whatever. And I was like, all right, jump scare movie that's kind of slow right now. This movie's gonna have to do something. Then lo and behold, the movie did something. The movie started scaring the shit out of me. And the jump scares were a little more relevant. You felt like ghosts were just everywhere. It did that thing with the soundtrack where the soundtrack's like, boom, right when something comes out at you. But it did it in a way where it wasn't just when it happened. It's like something's on the screen. Screen, and it's like the movie knew right when you realized that that was there, then it did that. And that for some odd reason was way more effective, so it's not really a jump scare. And the other jump scares in the movie have an image that just burns into your brain where you're like, yep, not forgetting that, not for a couple days. And this movie has this segment, the segment felt like 30 minutes long, but I'm pretty sure it was like 10 or 15. This is like the scariest shit. I had goosebumps for 15 minutes. Really effective, man. This stuff worked. And what sets this movie apart from a lot of other scary movies is the camera work. Example, there are creepy dolls everywhere in this mansion. It's like 1889, so they're gonna be creepy ass dolls. Whenever they came on screen, I was like, yeah, that's like a hundred bucks on Pawn Stars. But it does these close-up shots with these dolls where the face is really clear and everything around it is just blurry. It makes it feel really isolated, like these things are alive. Props to the directing and camera work on that. And even for Daniel Radcliffe's sake, I was glad this movie was effective. I mean, the dude's done with one franchise. He's like, I don't want my career to die with that movie like, you know, Carrie Fisher's did with Star Wars. He was good in the movie. It's weird to see him have a kid, but he has a kid in the movie and you're like, hmm. Um, that's right. It's not Harry Potter. That's not a Potter joke. It's, it's different. I was just making a point. You may find the first part of the movie slow, but in the end, this movie had some really creepy parts, goosebumps all over. I was thinking about this movie when I got home. My eyes were playing tricks on me when I was walking out to my car. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I need when I come out of a movie like this. It needs to stick with you. In the end, this movie is a creepy ass time. No alcohol required. If you like scary movies or horror movies, this is your movie. Check it out. So if you've seen The Woman in Black, what did you think of it? And if you haven't seen it yet, what's that movie that just gave you goosebumps, man? That just stuck with you. Comment below, let me know. This movie's still sticking with me. I got these lights on. If these lights weren't on, be in that corner. It would be sad. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.